one film that's making big news, especially at the box office, and is telling us that the more we change, the more the same we are, is the Rohit Shetty car blast, zoom up in the air, fall flat story, Surya Vanshi. After his high voltage cop dramas involving Ajay Devgan and later Ranveer, he now makes it larger than life. And now you have who but the Khiladi to take the central role in Surya Vanshi. Yes, this super duper hit from the stables of Rohit Shetty, Surya Vanshi, has exactly all those catchings that you expect A, from a Rohit Shetty film, B, from a A grade big entertainer, C, from an Akshay Kumar film, and D, a film when you offer it in the post-COVID scenario for public to enjoy in inverted commas. So long the characters of the Rohit Shetty police force were those who were fighting internal evil. And how do you get the scale larger, make it international? There was a time when the international evil was the smuggler evening in Paris comes to my mind. But today, smugglers across the seas are not villainous enough. Our villain will have to be somebody nearer home. And you will have to politically denominate it to keep it with the times we live in. You need definitely some chest beating jingoism. And so why not? Rohit Sethi is, after all, taking and catering to what the least common denominator is. And so you have a crazy, fun-loving film, Surya Vanshi. Leave your brains behind. Seriously, like a David Dhawan film, a Rohit Shetty film, leave your brains behind. Sit back, take your popcorn, sip your coffee and your soda or your soda and enjoy the movie. This is vintage, typical, commercial, straight from the Bollywood film. No pretensions from the word go. It's about Umar, Jackie Shroff playing the terrorist. How a few of them were left in India after a terrorist attack and the police getting at them. How Tom and Jerry have to keep fighting with one another. How finally Surya Vanshi, played by played by Akshay Kumar, wins over and gets back national pride. For him, on the romantic side, you have Katrina Kaif. It's hardly necessary to say that Akshay and Katrina share a wonderful screen chemistry. In fact, if you look at their cinema, Katrina Kaif shares a much better screen chemistry with Akshay Kumar than with most of her other leading actors. It hasn't diminished with time. They both form a lovely pair. She has too minor a role to speak about, but what is to be said indeed is that what little she has, she does with a plot. Interestingly, in the post interval session. You also have Ranveer and uh, Ajay Devgan coming, adding to a fun-filled, chaotic finale. Not again, I would say, this is not something you sit back and say, how stupid, this is not logical, that is not how it happens. Everybody has a sense of timing. Everybody is over the top. And it's just sit down, enjoy it as long as it lasts, get it and go back. It has a huge rerun value. The box office figures are not lying. I think people are lapping it up after a reasonably long, desperate period 
when people want to just lay back, laugh at something in life. And Rohit Shetty offers you exactly that. Surya Vanshi is an unpretentious, typical Bollywood entertainer in the typically, in the generally understood format of what Bollywood entertainment is. If you like it, nay, even if you're one of those who once in a way doesn't mind enjoying it, Surya Vanshi is for you, go for it. Thank you, Abhinav. Thank you, Datu.